very much. Right now at 5.30, this story. They get an opportunity to see something that a lot of the general public hasn't had the chance to see, so we're really excited about giving them the chance to do that today. February is Black History Month, and today the world's largest on online retailer celebrated by holding a very special tour. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter David McKay has a look inside the huge Amazon Fulfillment Center. Are you guys ready? Yes! Yeah! Awe and excitement filled the air as soon as students from Hartford's Thurman Milner School hopped off the bus at Amazon's Fulfillment Center in Windsor. First, I was like, oh, Amazon, are we going to like an Amazon rainforest? And then I would, the bus dropped us here. I was like, oh, my Lord, I, I, not, I didn't expect to be here. Amazon had an exclusive tour for the students to celebrate Black History Month and show them how science, technology, engineering, and mathematics can be applied. Milner is a school that is predominantly uh, Hispanic and African American and our kids are so capable and just coming here today and seeing this got them really excited. 1,500 employees work at the 1.2 million square foot facility. That's about the size of 28 football fields. I'm excited for you because you guys get the opportunity to see what a lot of people don't get a chance to see. Richard Dice runs the show at the facility. I personally like Black History Month because it teaches you about the past, but I'm going to flip it today. I'm going to talk about the future. Dice was born in Jamaica and moved to the U.S. when he was in the fifth grade. He went to Florida State University studying electrical engineering and then got his master's at Yale. He worked in aerospace and has been with Amazon for about two years. You can be whatever you want to be. It's all up to you. Students had the opportunity to see how the packages they order online make it to their front doorstep. We have over 10 million barcodes in this building alone. And in the end, Amazon surprised the school with a $15,000 check to be applied to STEM studies. I mean, I do a lot of math. Yeah, I like the robots. I wanted to try it when I grow up. Dice left the students with two factors for success. Hard work, and what's the second piece? Great attitude. Actually amazing. I think, like, I should come back next time. I'm seeing something new that I never saw before. It was cool. The Thurman Milner School is expected to expand next year with middle school. A lot of this money will be going towards their STEM program. In Windsor, in the Amazon Fulfillment Center, David McKay, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.